going on guys welcome back i got another supplement review for you please do me a favor link in the description my introduction video recommend you check it out get a better perspective of what i'm trying to achieve come back and enjoy the video once you're here like button subscribe button criticism in the comment section twitter shutdown safety is my username taking a look at one of the staples of my supplements bpi sports one more rep vortex you see down beneath it the fruit punch flavor on top, the snow cone flavor we're going to do a review on. And to me, BPI is, is a very good company. Um, BPI, if you don't know, in terms of the, the major players in the industry, was one of the first to remove DMAA from their products. And I'm not going to get into the scientificness of it, but DMAA was supposedly one of the stimulants giving false positives for methamphetamines. And as I've said in prior videos, I'll say it again every single time. You're responsible for what you put in your body. If you're delivering mail, if you're delivering hits in the NFL, if you're working beside me on a pit road, if you get popped for a drug test, it's on you. No one ever wants to complain about the results they see in a gym, but they want to complain about a false positive on a drug test. So to me, again, if you don't make it, if you don't create it, it's on you if you're putting it in your body. So take that with no salt, because that's the bottom line. Now, BPI was also one of the first to use kind of a microdose, like we saw out of Jacked, you know, a proprietary blend with not a whole lot of artificial colors, flavors, sweeteners, fillers. Uh, to be clear, this product does have artificial flavors in it, but it really was kind of a straightforward blend, if you will. So I've always had a lot of energy. I've always had a lot of clarity. I've always had a lot of focus with this. I will say I lost the pump that it gave me in the first tub, and I cycled off of it for about a month, and I never got it back. The problem with that is if you're going to use this, it is a caffeine-based supplement. So if you're going to stack it with something to give you the pump that it may lack for you, I would make sure that you're using a non-stimulant-based pump because, again, having caffeine, if you're going to add something else in stimulant-based, to me, you start to concern about what are you doing to your nervous system when you're tacking you know, one thing on top of the other on top of the other. Now, lastly, the mixability with 1MR, I've always kind of had a problem with, especially the fruit punch. It's always been a little gritty, it's always been a little sandy, and the flavor always hasn't been that great. The reason I got the snow cone was because I honestly was intrigued by it. Snow cone to me is not a flavor, it's, it's an idol. If you flavor it, no one ever says, here's a snow cone flavored snow cone, they say, here's a snow cone, what flavor do you want? So this flavor to me is very confectionery. It's very sweet, it's very sugary, it has a cotton candy smell to it, and it tastes a little bit like cotton candy. I personally enjoy it. If you don't like the sweet stuff, you're probably not going to. The other interesting thing about this is, and you know, again, I know I, I started off with positives with BPI, but one of the intriguing things is when they first came out with this product, they put this, you know, warning label on the bottom, and subsequently they've removed it, and interestingly enough, the back panel has stayed the same. So I just don't know how to accept that, but you know I do know it's a good product. I would recommend it. Appreciate you guys checking out the video, and I'll be back in the week with more content.